what's up guys it's your boy drive through on five making another video today um, this video is on why the FZ07 is a better bike than the FZ09 um, or the FZ MT09 those are kind of the same bike except for the headlight um, but yeah I'm making this video um, I actually was gonna go to the gym I wanted to go to the gym I haven't worked out in a while I worked out once since gyms opened here in New York State but um, it looks like it's gonna rain so I'm not gonna push my luck I'm just gonna make a quick uh, ride video I also wanted to do just ride the bike a little bit so I'm gonna do that first and then separately go with my car because I don't want to get rained on but um, here's what happens when uh, you ride in the rain see this this is like cleaned and then look at that you see that in there that's how dirty your bike gets when you ride in the rain and like all these rubber hoses I didn't ride in the rain but I think the previous owner did um, you know some people like to ride in the rain I just hate it like these screws in here get all rusty when you ride in the rain so I just prefer to keep the bike dry but um Alright, starting the actual part of the video. See these clouds are so like I don't believe the weather says uh my weather app says it's not gonna rain but I don't believe it. It's so cloudy I feel like it can rain any second. So um yeah why I think the FZ07 is better than the FZ09. Um number one is definitely the sound um this thing sounds freaking amazing i don't know uh i just love the sound of parallel twin engines better than uh any other see you just touch the gas a little and it just roars to life um so yeah that's uh definitely number one not saying that the fc09 sounds bad at all but um just the way they make it sound the parallel twin with the cross plane uh, engine it sounds just absolutely amazing um, I describe it like a like a cruiser like a Harley with a really nice engine or something but revs way quicker than a, than a Harley look at this just touch the throttle a little bit and instantly 5000 rpm but uh this guy sleeping behind the wheel so yeah number one definitely the sound this thing makes way better than any other bike um, some people like the sound of uh, inline four engines and they definitely sound good like for people who are into that but this thing to me sounds absolutely amazing better than any other bike I've had all right number two um, is definitely the way this thing handles um, I've ridden I've test ridden a MT09 which is the same exact thing as FZ09 just it's newer and it has a new headlight but um the FZ09 is more heavy it's like more top heavy and it has a bigger tank like the tank is wider you definitely feel that extra weight compared to this bike um, and this bike handles better like it's very nimble it's hard to believe uh, like how nimble it actually is it feels lighter even though it's light it feels even lighter just the way it's set up and uh, I think they carry their their weight more on the bottom of the bike but uh, yeah the handling characteristics and I said that wrong characteristics excuse me damn I forgot what I was gonna say how the engine just pulled Ooh. I love it I know the the MT09 also has a lot of power at low rpms but um, this thing 
pulls especially hard at like just 3,000 RPMs. The way they made this uh, cross plane two, cross plane parallel twin engine, it just, I love that on a bike. On a car too, actually, just tons of power at low RPMs. But um, yeah, so number two is uh, how it handles. It handles better than the FZ, FZ09. Coming to number three, number three is uh definitely this display um the fz09 and the fz07 have the same looking display it looks similar the shape is similar but on the fz09 they have it offset to the right side of the bike um it makes absolutely no sense to me um i don't really like that like it wouldn't be a deal breaker for me at all to have that um uh, on the right side but um it definitely looks better centered like this and you can't go wrong with this display anyway because it's uh it's really nice it has a gear indicator um the miles per hour is uh very clear on it so yeah my grom it doesn't have a gear indicator so even though it has four gears only, like sometimes I'm guessing, is that first gear or second gear? Or is that third gear or fourth gear? Doing like a little guessing game. Woo, it's like it barks. All right, I have absolutely no problem getting through here with my Grom. But let's see how the FZ does. Alright, same thing. So yes, number three definitely is the dash. Um, here it's positioned perfectly and on the 09 it's positioned position like right where this thing is. Um, I feel like that would mess with my head a little bit. Like there's absolutely no reason to do that just to be different I guess. This thing could definitely pick up the wheel, the front wheel, so easy, man. Feels like I'm riding a chopper right now. Gonna head over to this parking spot so I can uh, think a little better. Give you guys uh, two more reasons why the 07 is better than the FZ09. Pop, pop, pop. Definitely not gonna go through a puddle. I love my bike way too much. I gotta actually clean up those uh, dirty spots from uh, who, from riding in the rain. I didn't ride in the rain. The previous owner did, but uh, oh. Tells me I'm in second gear. I would have had no idea if uh, I didn't have that gear indicator right there. But uh, shutting it off now. Try to come up with uh, two more reasons why this is better than the 09. Okay, so reason number four why the FZ07 is better is because you have way better control with the throttle. Um, I've ridden a MT-09 once before and it had the Akropovich exhaust and you know, it's a great bike as well. But I feel like the throttle, like the way it's set up is way too twitchy on the 09. Like this thing is twitchy as well, but um, on the 09 with the amount of power that thing has with the 850 or so CC engine, um, it feels way twitchier than this thing. This thing is a, like Very twitchy and The FZ09 is like over the top twitchy. You gotta like point the bike straight almost almost like as it as if it's a on or off throttle so you like on the FZ09 you just touch the throttle a little bit and it feels like you just gave it 50% throttle um, I don't really like that um, this one is okay this one feels like once you touch the gas a little it feels like you're giving it 30% throttle 
which is you know it's okay but um on the fz09 it's horrible like if you're going in a corner and you give it a little too much gas i definitely see the bike like uh spinning out and making you bust your bike you got to really be ca cautious when you ride the 09 but um yeah the throttle feel i like better on the fz07 all right the fifth reason why the fz07 is a better bike why i like it better than the 09 um the color schemes i absolutely love the color schemes on the fz07 like look at this it has blue wheels a gray uh body and then it has like a blue uh frame here the tubing is blue it just looks so sharp to me i hear another bike in the distance i don't know what it is but um this one sounds better 100 percent but um yeah look at this for example you have gray and blue it looks so sharp to me um another co common color they have with the uh, the fc07 is a uh, like a a lighter gray with yellow so like that that looks amazing to me as well um i don't really like the colors on the fz09 as much um like they have an orange color not really that big of a fan of that um i'm not saying that all the colors on the fc07 are better but like it definitely has some better ones um i love the way the the new mt09 looks with the um led headlight i'll be honest it looks better than this headlight but when it comes to the colors like blue and gray like this it's absolutely amazing and the other gray on the fz07 as well it looks better um like one color i especially hate on the new mt09 is the white white color of the body and then the red wheels like the way they did that i don't like the mt09 is a, such a great bike like they just really ruined it in my opinion with the the color scheme on that but to, in my opinion the this color combo is amazing as well as the um the light gray with the uh the yellow on it that one looks amazing too um but yeah those are pretty much my reasons why i prefer the fz07 over the fz09 as well as the the mt07 that's the newer one here in america um the older this is a 2015 they call it the fz07 but the new one is the mt07 and it's pretty much the same exact bike it maybe has a little more electronics but pretty much the same bike but yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video um if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this i absolutely love motorcycles i also have a honda gram and uh if you're into that kind of stuff all things motorcycle because uh I'm always around motorcycles. Um, subscribe and uh, you'll see more content like this. Alright guys, have a good day.